In this video, I will be unboxing, setting up and reviewing the new 08 LED Wi-Fi projector from Ikeo. The new 08 projector from Ikeo is packed with features. It has a hi-fi speaker built in. It has a dust proof mesh, which you can clean. It has Bluetooth 5.2, so you can connect to external speakers. It has 20,000 lumens for brightness, so the image quality is amazing and rich with color. It can connect to 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi connections, and it can produce up to a 300 inch screen. The 08 is 1080p full HD, and it can also support 4K. The contrast ratio is 12,000 to 1. The projector has multiple connectivity options ranging from HDMI, USB, AV, 3.5 millimeter audio ports, which makes it easy to connect to multiple devices such as smartphones, tablets, PCs, game consoles, and fire sticks. The projector also supports screen mirroring from Android, iOS, or Windows smartphones and devices. So let's jump straight into it and look at the fan noise. So as you can hear, the fan will switch on as you press on the power button. And it is not very distracting. Obviously when there's no volume or anything like that, you can hear the fan. But once the speakers are on or your Bluetooth speaker is attached, then you don't hear the fan as much in the background. Zooming in and out, just remember when you zoom all the way out, you can't put the lens cover back on as you saw there. So make sure when you've finished using the projector, put the lens cover back on, but retract the lens back into the projector and then the lens cover will fit perfectly. Operating the projector and changing the settings is very easy. So you can use that with the dials on the projector itself or via the remote as you can see here and all the settings are available to change. What I'm doing here is measuring the distance to the wall which is around 1.2 meters and then looking at the screen size that is created from that distance. So the further away you move the bigger the screen. Looking at the quality of the image it's actually really crisp and clear as you can see I go as close as I can without interfering with the image too much from the projection. And you can see the edges are quite straight. There's no pixelation or anything. So it is very in focus and the colors look nice and rich as well. I then connect a fire stick to the HDMI inputs on the side and I want to test the internal speaker by playing one of the movies that are available. So I did this and you can hear the sound coming from the internal speaker. So the speaker itself is actually quite clear and it's actually quite loud. And then what I wanted to do is connect to a Bluetooth speaker, which in this case is a JBL. The connection is really easy to do. And then I play the sound and you can see as I bring it close and away, the sound volume changes. So it is connected. So overall it works really well and the response time with the lip syncing is also in sync. You can also connect a USB device and play anything that's on there. So it can be images, you can look at pictures, you can play music and you can also play video as you can see here. So there's plenty of options available to you for getting connected to the projector. Hey, that's pretty good. Using the remote features as well to fast forward, rewind, play are very responsive and works really well. And the sound again is really good. The image quality is also very good as you can see with a much bigger image than what I was showing earlier on in the video. So what I wanted to do was then test it with sport to see how that would go because sometimes you get ghosting where the ball travels on certain projectors or TVs. So I wanted to look at that. But the image quality, even when it's a much larger screen, you can see is still really crisp and rich. So I'm really impressed with this. So looking at some sport, if I zoom in, the camera I'm using is a phone camera. So it does not pick up the clarity of this projector as much as I would like when you're actually looking at it because it doesn't work as well as a proper camera. So you might see a bit of uh, pixelation here, but it's not what I'm seeing with my eyes when I was filming it. It is very clear and it is very crisp so I'm very impressed with it and as you can see there's an ice cream truck in the back while I'm trying to do the sound but anyway back to the video the movements you can see there's no ghosting or lagging or anything like that you can see how it's set up you can not hear the fan now because it's running with the speaker and it's really good I'm very impressed and then looking from further away 
the sound as you walk towards it. You can hear the sound from the projector getting louder and louder. You can see how bright the image actually is reflecting off the side walls. And yeah, you can make the image even bigger than this. This one is a, probably about a 75 inch screen now what I've got running on the sports that you can see. So very impressed. I, I really am enjoying this projector. I wanted to measure the temperature that this projector is producing when it's running. The heat in the room was quite warm and putting the thermometer on the side of the projector where the air gets sucked in you can see the temperature actually dropped so that was pulling the air in and then when it expels it on the other side on the left it obviously warms up as it passes by the lamps of the LED lights and things like that and the temperature did increase as you will see now and it sort of eventually stopped at around 40 to 45 degrees so it didn't get too warm but I guess if the ambient temperature in the room is warm it will probably get a bit warmer but that was acceptable. I then wanted to look at how moving movies played how the projector responded to that and I also did it in a dark room and then I did it with all four lights on as you can see on the screen so I've got four down lights in the room which I switched on they're very bright so it makes the image look quite dull but in reality when I was looking at it it actually looked much better so the camera is not really giving it justice of what it actually looked like and on the left where the lights are off you can see how much richer the image is so both of them were still watchable and they both were very clear but I just wanted to show you the difference so side by side of what this projector can produce but once again on the right it is much clearer in real life uh, the video is not portraying what it's actually doing so uh, just remember that I then moved into another room because I wanted to make the screen even larger and as you can see I'm measuring how big that actually is and the measurements are on the screen and this eventually produced a 97 inch screen size and the white block there I actually made it even bigger to match that white block so it was much bigger than what I'm measuring now so it can go really big and it was still really clear and with that I wanted to then test some games because games are pretty quick and I wanted to see how fast this projector would be with responding to the screen changes and everything like that lighting uh, all of those kind of things and as you can see playing Forza it's actually really good it's really responsive there's no lag there's no ghosting again there's there's nothing like that and it's really good I'm so impressed with this projector for what it is and the price point that it's at so I played some of that and then I moved on to some FIFA so similar to what we were watching earlier with some of the sport from the TV and again the graphics the images everything was just really good uh, the sound quality from the speaker itself as you can hear is really good you can't hear the fan because the speaker's playing and it's it's really loud it was on 50% volume at this point and the game quality as you can see is very good on a nearly 100 inch screen here compared to a TV and then the last thing I wanted to test with gaming was some fighting so some Mortal Kombat here and you can see again with the cinematics it's really responsive the lighting works well it's rich colors again no lagging no ghosting or anything like that it's just works really well very impressed uh, my son was playing games for the evening and he says it was really good so very very impressed The last thing I wanted to talk about before I give my final review on it is Android, iOS and Windows devices and how to do screen mirroring. This is really easy, it's really fast and responsive as you can see here and moving from portrait to landscape is also really responsive as you can see when I start moving it left and right. The sound plays, everything plays as it should. So my final thoughts on this 08 LED projector from Ikeo is I'm actually quite impressed with it for what it is and the price point for 100 pounds it's actually really good. It looks good, it's small, it's portable, it's lightweight, the quality of the image is really clear, it's got all the connectivity options here, it's got the USB and the HDMI as you saw in the video, you know AV as well, it connects to Bluetooth speaker where I connected the JBL speaker and that really worked well, it was in sync with the image as well so that was really good. The fan, yes it is noisy when you switch it on but it's you know expected from projectors uh, but once you start using it you 
you sort of forget that it's there and the sound takes over whether it's the internal speaker or Bluetooth speaker that you're using. So from my point of view if you're looking for a projector and you don't have loads of cash to spend and you can't afford a TV that's four or five hundred pounds or whatever this can produce a massive screen for you as you saw in the video and even bigger and the quality is really good. The image brightness is also very good even in a light room. Uh, yeah, it's actually really good. I do like it. The only cons about it, if you don't have a straight on view of the uh, projection wall or screen that you're having, is that the lens doesn't have a lens shift because sometimes the lens can shift on these left and right as well to help. And the keystone when uh, looking at an image, so let's take the square. So if I turn it, you can see that this side's different to that side. It's not straight on the same size. So those corners and that could be adjusted with height and that to make the rectangle more rectangle uh, so that's the only thing really but other than that it's a really good projector so thank you Akio don't forget to like subscribe and share the video so you can come back for uh, my other videos so that's when you tick the little bell cheers <laughs>